is Dr. Claire Simeone, and I'm a marine mammal veterinarian. I treat sick seals, sea lions, dolphins, and sometimes even whales. In some ways, marine mammals are very similar to our dogs, cats, and even ourselves. But in other ways, they're very unique, often due to the adaptations that they have developed to living in the ocean. If you live near the ocean, you may know that sometimes, if a dolphin is sick, it may strand on a beach. Just like you might take ibuprofen for a sprained ankle, if a dolphin is sick, it might need a pain medication. No one has ever looked at how that class of drugs, called non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, or NSAIDs, work in a dolphin's body until now. Ten bottlenose dolphins participated in the project. They received a single pill of meloxicam hidden in a fish treat. Then they gave a couple of blood samples between zero and 10 days after getting the medication. You might ask, where do you even draw blood from a dolphin? There's a vein that runs through the middle of the dolphin's tail, which are called its flukes. The dolphin will turn upside down and lay their flukes in the trainer's hands and the veterinary technician will collect blood. We analyzed the blood work both before and after giving the medication and looked for changes in that blood work to signify that the medication might be having a bad effect on the body. We didn't find any evidence of any bad effects from the medication. We then took the blood samples and measured the levels of meloxicam in the blood. The peak occurred at about 11 hours. That's similar to what happens in dogs, horses, and humans. However, the meloxicam stayed in the dolphins' bodies for more than seven days. We usually take one pill a day if we have a headache or a sprained ankle. But we learned that we only need to give a dolphin one pill a week for pain relief. Because we know what the meloxicam levels are that cause pain relief in other species, we're able to extrapolate or make a conclusion that the meloxicam levels we're seeing in the dolphins should mean that it works in the dolphins too. Our project was just one small piece of the puzzle of how we can help to keep our oceans and the animals in them healthy.